I am not afraid of storms, for I am learning how to sail my ship. This is a quote once said by Louisa May Alcott. She was an American novelist, short story writer, as well as an author of the novel uh, Little Women and its sequels Little Men and Joe's Boys. Not only could she impress the whole world with her writing as she also worked as a civil war nurse. She had done other notable social activities like registering women to vote and fighting against slavery. In the first stanza, the poet is a washerwoman who calls herself the queen of her tub. As she is in complete charge of all her clothes and the tub, as a queen is in charge of her, all of all her subjects. While she is singing and washing, there is high rising foam from the clothes which she later washes and brings. Then she leaves them to dry and the wash clothes then swing in the fresh air and dries. Just like clothes, people's hearts also are stained by different kinds of feelings like distress, hatred, greed, anger, etc. In the second stanza, the poet wishes that the heart's stains could also be washed away. Like the magic in the air, but just like uh, ma- just like, uh, like magic, the air and water cleans the stains away from the dirty clothes. In the same manner, she wishes and she says how wonderful it would be if, uh, like the pure, pure water and air, they could also, they just like they wash the dirt from our clothes. She, was, she wondered if it could have also cleansed the stains of our hearts too. Then on earth, there would be indeed a glorious washing day. Where a glorious washing day is when the pure water and air will cleanse the stains of, of, of people's from people's heart. Heart seizes a flower that grows quickly and easily till the summer is too hot. The poet now says that if a person lives a useful life, then uh, will he still have time to think about gloom or sorrow? Or are his anxious thoughts swept away just as they wheel the dust by a broom? Perhaps the answer is yes. As the poet is happy that she has a duty to perform that of washing clothes, she works all day and she's healthy, she's strong and hopeful. She's so happy about the fact that she works, that she uh, says that she allows her head to think, she allows her heart to feel, but her hands are only meant to work and always work. This is how the poet, the poem ends. So the moral of this poem is this, that when we, uh, when we have just like in clothes we also have stains in our hearts and uh, most of the time when we are sitting idle bad thoughts come to our mind so it's always good that we keep ourselves busy no work is small or big whatever you work you do your hands should always be engaged in some kind of constructive work right so uh, if you're working then your mind will also be automatically engaged in positive thoughts so that's the end of the poem if you have any questions any queries feel free to ask take care bye bye I'm not afraid of storms, for I'm learning how to sail my ship.